Shadowbagera, as we say in Norway. Martina here, and today we are going to make an epic castle in a super cool environment. We're gonna try to combine foam and clay and epoxy. We're gonna mix all kinds of tools and materials together to try to make something awesome. So let's get started. So I'm basically gonna build the whole model onto this wooden, I guess it's a serving tray. So I've just pulled out the old styro slicer and in the description you can find the links to all the tools and materials and stuff that I'm gonna use in this video. Anyway, let's start cutting some styrofoam. I've got all my layers marked and good to go, I just have to glue them together to continue. Now, there are a lot of types of glue that will make the surface of the styrofoam melt and deteriorate. I'm just gonna go ahead and use spray glue because it's easy to apply and it doesn't really melt the styrofoam that much, but it won't be visible in the final result anyway, so. So for the next step, I'm gonna use acetone to... What? <laughs> Pony! For the next step, I'm gonna use acetone to melt the styrofoam on purpose. This will help to blend the layers a bit better together as well as make a uh, like stone-ish texture on the styrofoam. <laughs> Come on, Bonnie, you're distracting everyone. Let's just begin. I'm gonna throw her out. No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Exterior foam coat from Hotwire Foam Factory. I've used this before. Very nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and first of all get my dust mask and gloves. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it together and put it all over the model. <laughs> I left this to dry overnight and it's pretty much dry, it's a bit damp still. I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer of this foam coat on top and then I'm gonna leave that to dry while I work on some other stuff for this model. One, two, go this way for another couple of I haven't really talked about my idea for this model, but I'm thinking to place the castle here on the larger mountain and then have like a little path leading the way up here to a bridge going over. And then in the crack between the two mountains, I'm gonna make an epoxy river with some cool waves flowing down. But what I'm gonna make next is a tree. I wanna place the tree about here. Relative to the scale of this model is going to be huge and epic, but in reality it's gonna be like this big. <laughs> 
probably. There seems to be like one common thing that everyone does which is make the base out of wires, which I'm also gonna do. Most people seem to cover up the wires with something rubbery, but I really want to get better at using clay, so I am actually thinking of trying to use clay on top of the wires. Anyway, let's get started on the tree. Now I'm super curious if I could actually make this look good with hot glue. So, um, I think we're gonna make two trees. It's definitely harder than it looks on the videos, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> p.m. and I'm already tired. <laughs> oh. Okay, the foam coat has completely dried now and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the whole thing with black spray paint. It's just a bit easier to get into all the little nooks and crannies when you use spray paint, but I'm not gonna do it here because I don't want to die, so we're gonna take it outside. Let's freaking do these guys! <laughs> but where? Ta-da! <laughs> move this thing into the garage so we can dry there and not suffocate us in the in the house in the room in the in the in the <laughs> nice the piece oh i missed this part is that how you're supposed to spray no <laughs> absolutely not so do don't take it from me go with someone else on that so i'm gonna come back and pick you up tomorrow Good morning guys, the model has been drying outside for the whole night. Oh god. Question is, is it dry? Yep. It's so damn dry. Back to the basement. Oh look who was already here. Hi handsome. Ugh. Ah oh, yes, the smell of basement and no natural light. Mwah. Even as excited as I am to get started on this model, we're gonna put this bad boy to the side because we're gonna continue working on the trees that we started on yesterday. I like how this turned out, it looks pretty dope, but the only thing I think I would like to change about this is to have some more branches on it. I'm not sure if it will even, you know, make a difference in the end result, but it would be cool just to try it out, you know? Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll see. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know, let's go. This stuff is like braiding hair, but painful. It only costs a little bit of blood. Battle scars. I originally thought that the one with the most branches would be like the obvious winner But now I'm not quite sure which one I like the most But you know we gotta cover them up anyway and see what it looks like after we've painted them and added the leaves Oh crap, I gotta go wash off this blood. I'm a mixture of excited and, and Skeptical of how this is gonna go 
We'll see. Let's compare the results when we're done. Let's do the hot glue one first because that's the one I'm most curious about and I'm a bit impatient. Hey guys, we are outside again. If you're wondering why my voice is a bit off, it's because I've had, you know, the sniffles for the past couple of days, so uh, excuse my voice. I'm just gonna look around and try to see if I can find any uh, suitable twigs to attach to the trees I have already made. And also, I thought while I'm outside, I might as well try to find some pebbles or gravel to use as boulders on the model. Oh my god. No. Hmm. I was thinking stuff like this. Oh crap, I broke it. I don't really want to go and pluck twigs off of trees. It just seems kind of mean, you know? What about something like this? Hmm, that could work. I'm just gonna pick some gravel off the ground. Is it weird to steal your neighbor's gravel? <laughs> I just realized that's pretty much what I'm doing. Also, this was a super flattering angle. It looks like one of PewDiePie's vlogs. I think that's a, a pretty good catch. Let's go inside before this becomes any weirder. Also, I have a question. Like, should I paint the rocks to make them look like rocks? Or should I leave them and make it look kind of weird and not part of the same thing? I'm very confused. I still really want to continue on this project no matter if I'm sick because I'm just excited about it. I'm planning now to attach those twigs that we found outside to the hot glue tree and then paint it and uh, try to attach some leaves to it. This clay tree. This clay tree is taking forever to make. Oh my god. <laughs> it is super hard to make the clay stick to the wires. I have to do one branch on one side and then jump to the other side to do another branch and then let that dry because if I bump into the first branch I might just peel off all the clay I just put on. <laughs> But for all I know, I might just be using the very wrong type of clay for this purpose and there might be other clays that sticks better to metals. I don't know. If it wasn't for the fact that I really want to compare the result of this tree to that tree, I don't really think I would have even finished it. So if you have any good tips on using clay, please leave a comment on that and I will try to absorb the knowledge. When it comes to painting rocks, there seems to be like three main techniques that people use, at least 
that I've seen. The first is stippling, then there's dry brushing, and then third there is washing. Anyway, I'll leave a link to a couple of good resources in the description. If you are interested, you can go and check that out to get some more in-depth tutorials on how to do these types of painting techniques. <laughs> All right, let's add some color. have done all the fun stuff I gotta finish the not so fun stuff yeah let's just do it Okay, so let's talk about the results. I'm very, very happy with both of them in their own way. I have some pros and cons for both of them. Well, the hot glue one is super easy to make, it was super quick, and it's also flexible. The con is that the trunk doesn't look as realistic as the clay one, and it just feels overall a bit plasticky and flimsy. Now, the positive thing with the clay tree is that it's super easy to make a realistic texture on the tree. It also is more matte on the surface than the hot glue one. It's easier to paint as well, the paint sticks better to the surface. Now for the cons of making this clay tree, it almost drove me nuts because first of all the clay doesn't really stick to the wire, second of all it kept falling off and it's very brittle, it's not flexible at all like the hot glue, and also it takes a lot longer to dry and get ready for painting. I think the overall winner is the hot glue tree actually, just because this takes too much time it's brittle and hard to work with. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm actually really happy with this result. The epoxy is finally cured, but there's something missing from this river and that is waves. What I'm gonna do to create the waves is I'm gonna use Mod Podge gloss to create them using an airbrush to create the ripples. I should probably do like a test piece, but I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just gonna jump into it and hope that this will go just fine. thing that's left for me to do for now is to attach this tree to the model and 
I've come up with a very elegant solution of simply taking this screwdriver and ramming it into the model and then just bending the roots and stuff to fit into the holes and glue it in place. I think it's gonna work. Hey guys, we're outside again. We're gonna take a look at the final result in just a second. Hey Clyde. I think our cats are the stars of the show, aren't they? Next time we're gonna start working on the castle and the bridge. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will see the next part of this project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.